Hey everybody and welcome to the Thursday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks as we get set to wrap up January on Friday and head into February over the weekend. Still nothing real impactful weather-wise heading our way anytime in the real near future. A few unsettled days perhaps next week, but that'll be largely liquid precipitation because we do have a warming trend heading our way. Talked about this last evening, but in case you uh, did not see that, uh, today is the anniversary, the one-year anniversary of one of the more ferocious Arctic attacks we've had in the last handful of years. We had temperatures in the single digits in the morning, dropping below zero in the afternoon a year ago today, and wind chills bottomed out around 30 below zero during the afternoon one year ago today. And actual temperatures dropped down to about 10 or 11 below in a lot of places at night, and temperatures got no higher than the single digits on the final day of January in 2019. We've had nothing even remotely close to that this winter, and nothing even remotely close to that coming our way anytime real soon. Actually, it was a pretty standard issue late January day today as far as temperatures, very close to the averages. 20 was the low this morning, 32 is the high this afternoon. Averages, as you see, are 19 and 33, and here are the records. That 64 happened back in 2013. We actually started out this morning with sunshine, some sunshine in parts of the area, this time lapse in Columbia, and I'm it was pretty cloudy from the get-go down here, but in some parts of the area, especially uh, closer to the Ohio uh, PA border and heading into western PA, we actually had some clearing of the sky last night. You see that here on this uh, shot from Niles. There's some sunshine, but then the clouds did roll in pretty quickly, and it turned out to be yet another fairly gray late uh, January afternoon, and uh, temperatures struggled a bit as a result. Of course, we had no snow today. And this will be just about our final number for January. We might pick up some trace amounts late in the day tomorrow, but no big deal there. We'll be close to 13 inches for the month of January. That's 6.7 inches below the average. This is not in record territory, though. You know, it hasn't been a very snowy month, but this isn't even in the top 30 uh, most snow-free Januaries on record around here. We've had much uh, drier Januaries from a snow perspective than this year. We've got nickel and dimed a little bit with nothing, no big ticket storms, no 6 to 12 inch snow events, nothing like that. We haven't had anything like that so far this winter. So yeah, we're below average. 29.8 is the number so far for the season at the airport. 35.5 is par through today's date. Last year through today's date, we had about four inches more than we've picked up this year at 33.6. We ended up only in the 40s for snow last year, about 18 to 20 inches below average for the airport. Of course, in our area, snow amounts do vary quite a bit in the winter, ranging from probably an average of, oh, 35 to 40 inches down towards East Liverpool to as much as 60 to 70 inches as you get up into central and northern Mercer and Trumbull counties. Our official weather records here locally are from the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna, of course, and uh, at that location we average in the low 60s for seasonal snow totals. We're getting set to wrap up what traditionally is our snowiest month of the year. We get about a quarter of our annual snowfall in the month of January, but again, this year, uh, this January has not been particularly uh, snowy. Heading into February, February is another fairly snowy month, even though it's a shorter month. Uh, we still average 21.2% of our annual snowfall in the month of February. It's a leap year this year, so we have one more day to perhaps add to those totals. I, I think February has some potential to be unsettled as far as precipitation goes. Now, a lot of that may be liquid but some of it will have the potential to be of the frozen variety. I don't think February is going to end up being a very cold month, but it could be a pretty unsettled and another pretty gray month overall. Plenty of gray weather for the next couple of days. A cloudy day coming up on Friday. This little disturbance might bring us a touch of snow or some flurries late in the day. I don't think this is anything real impactful, but some candy coatings is going to be a possibility. And then a, uh, a cloudy start to the weekend. This uh, next system for Saturday is looking weaker and weaker on the models. It's pretty much nothing at this point. Maybe some late day flurries. That's it. And then while Sunday starts with clouds, I do think that some of the sunshine in, in this milder air will push in for the second half of the day Sunday, allowing temperatures to get into the 40s. And for Super Bowl Sunday, actually, looks pretty nice. Over in Punxsutawney for a Groundhog Day Sunday morning, uh, we will have a cloudy sky. Now, of course, they pull out the groundhog before sunrise, which is always strange to me because how in the world would the groundhog see its shadow when the sun isn't even up yet? But uh, technically speaking, the uh, the clouds would inhibit any, uh, any uh, shadow from being seen even if they pulled the groundhog out at uh, 9 in the morning instead of you know, 7.15 or whatever time it is. The logistics of Groundhog Day always a source of frustration for me. I know it's just fun, but 
wait until the sun's up at least. Make it a little bit scientific. That's all I ask. All right, anyway, 38 here locally Saturday, 45 on Sunday. So it's going to turn out to be a pretty nice end of the weekend on Sunday. And here's a look at the temperatures in our official forecast for the next seven days. Don't forget, you can check out these numbers anytime on the Storm Tracker 21 app. Each day will be above the average of 33, and we'll clear that by a good 20 degrees on Monday and in a similar vicinity on Tuesday, even though I, I do think it rains some on Tuesday and into Wednesday as well. This next cool down coming at the end of next week will only return us to kind of where we've been this week. Nothing cold by early February standards, just closer to average. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do my February forecast tomorrow evening here on, on Weather Geeks, but I don't think it's going to be a month that's going to feature a lot of sustained cold weather compared to the average in the eastern U.S. Uh, I talked about this week how some Februarys, the pattern does flip after a warm December, January. Sometimes it flips in February, but more often than not, if it's been a warm December and January, that trend continues into February, and I do think that'll be the case once again this year. All right, that'll do it for me tonight. Again, February forecast coming out tomorrow evening on Weather for Weather Geeks. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your Thursday night.